Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the daily scan for April Fool's Day, April 1st, 2013. Uh, I had a little bit of a problem getting my thoughts in order this morning. I don't know why. A little cloudy. I had my coffee. Didn't clear out the clouds. Uh, so bear with me as I stumble through this video today. Um, okay, so on the 28th on Chipotle, remember I was talking about the 5%, 10% probability thing for iron condors? I did do that on Chipotle. We'll cover that in a moment. First of all, let's take a look at what's going on with the markets. Looks like we may open a bit down possibly don't know never know um, gold is still struggling with that 1600 level and silver is uh, nowhere near 30 which is what it was pretty close to a while back a week or so ago and oil I just want to take a look at um, oil here because uh, this uh, okay so this chart that we have here is a 10-year monthly chart and I think that is just a little bit more evident if we go to a daily chart where this uh, actually the 98 level has been a spot of uh, resistance for it it just looks kind of strange and we're up there now and we have pulled back from it so uh, hopefully it won't go any higher. Of course, 100 is that magical psychological barrier. But you can see even back um, uh, back in uh, about a year ago, it was actually over $100. I don't know if anybody remembers that or not, but it was. But strangely enough, even though it's down approximately 3 to $4 a barrel, gasoline is pretty much where it was a year ago and of course the current administration is probably going to add more to the price of gasoline artificially uh, well not artificially basically but you know they want to change the formulation of the gasoline and remove some uh, impurities so that's what they want to do and I'm rambling so I'm going to try to move on here uh, the account insurance policies, which includes this IWM down here, not doing so hot right now, but it's insurance, and we understand what insurance is for, and we're okay with that. Uh, but our verticals are doing not too bad, actually. Netflix, this one here, is... Uh, in a little bit of trouble but it's not in the money so we're not going to worry about that one and we have some time that's in April we have some time on that it's uh, possible I'm going to start looking at maybe thinking about exiting some of these and I will be looking at them as the week progresses and I'll let you know when I'm thinking about possibly getting out of one if it's uh, looking like it's going to be profitable uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the calendar for this week. Uh, today we have the Manufacturing Index, a possible market moving event, and then PMI and construction spending possibly too. We don't really have anything after that until we get to Thursday, um, which is, I think this is Bank of England or something, I think. And... Uh, and then, and then the ECB, which is Europe, and then our friend jobless claims. And then on Friday, um, employment situation and international trade. So uh, holidays are over temporarily, even though um, April Fool's should probably be a national holiday and the market should close and uh, post office should take the day off and the government should take another day off, paid, of course, but uh, I guess that's not to be, not yet anyway. 
Okay, um, let's take a look. I promised that we would take a look at the Chipotle trade. So I got into this um, Chipotle here. Uh, let's see here. Reset the slices. Okay, so I got in, into this Chipotle kind of early on in the day on Thursday, and then it ramped up pretty quickly. So it kind of screwed up um, my settings here as far as the 5%, 10% was concerned. So now we're at uh, approximately 78% on that end and 10% on this end. Are we still showing? Yeah, this is an April expiration. So, um, it's not as pretty as I would like it to be. Let's take a look at the chart, however. And if you look at it from, this is uh, what happened on Friday. Blam, 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 just marched right on up. Um, still have uh, a lot of room in here, and this is actually true. This uh, gray square here is the safe area, or the... 100% profit area and then these break-even lines are were calculated based on the break-even uh, when I first got into the trade and then as the day progressed it did move but actually if you take a look if we go to here to set slices to break-even for 420 and then set the slices to the chart you can see um, there's not all that much of a difference between the original break-even and the new break-even. All we need to do is have it stay within this box by the time it gets to this Friday of expiration of April, which is uh, yeah, 15 days away, I believe. Let's take a look here. Uh, okay, April, well, it's 18 days away. So, yeah, that would be right. So we have to wait for that one. And we'll see how that progresses. Back to the monitor tab. Everything else is uh, moving along pretty good. Netflix, we'll take a look at the Analyze tab on Netflix. See if there's anything we need to worry about there. Take these uh, iron condors out here. That's this one, this one, this one, and this one. All right, so we're really okay here. We're not in the money or really anywhere close to it. We can take a look at a chart and see if there's anything that we can see that might uh, freak us out a little bit about it. Actually, we went in the money here, and we're actually kind of pulling back right now. We have uh, long-term chart momentum leaving. We have stochastic turning down and we have really zero momentum here and on the short term momentum moving down also. Even uh, lower highs on the stochastic and lower lows. So that that's kind of interesting. Also I want to let you know that I expanded my charts here so that I could show at least a couple of expirations out. And a way to do that is to go here to the time axis and say you want to expand, expand it X amount of bars to the right and I selected 40 so that I could see two expirations out for because it's time to start thinking about uh, May expiration. All right. Um, let's go and take a look at the A plus list and we'll just uh, we are nine minutes into the recording here uh, we'll just take a look at the underlines that we are not in right now tomorrow we'll go through everything and not you know mess around with uh, looking at other things. We won't waste any time on it. Tomorrow we'll just focus on everything on the A-plus list, including positions that we are in, looking for opportunities. I'll probably run through them today 
uh, just so I get you know my all my ducks in a row for tomorrow. All right, we're not in Apple. Let's take a look. Actually, uh, we missed an opportunity here. It's definitely proving us out. So I am going to put Apple on my list for today. I want to see. Um, I was thinking of you know doing that iron condor on there, but I want to see if we take a look at standard regular April expiration, and we would want to be looking for something um, with a little bit of oh man, I got all of them here. I don't want that. Let's do twenty four. Seems to be a pretty happy number f for us, for ranges that we're looking at. If we're looking at maybe like a 25, uh, we'd be looking on the call side here if we're going to do a credit spread. We'd be looking at a uh, 25 delta, 20 to 25. What can we do with that? Uh, 89 cents, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, and we would be looking at a 465 approximately, which would be up here, which is the previous high. So that might be that might be pretty good. So let's um, change this over to a price level and set that at 465. And we'll change the color to yellow. And we'd be looking at a Alt 31 down below that. So that looks, I think that, that could work out pretty good over this time period. So I'm putting that on my list and I'm going to set an alert. And if the stock makes a big move down, at the open. Let's say it gaps and let's take a look here and see uh, yeah it may, it may gap down a buck or two when it opens based on this bid ask 41 or 441 is uh, 441 30 is about in the middle so that's uh, about a buck 30 down possibly. Um, don't know if this would still be valid. I may have to slip down to the next available strike at 460, but still might be a pretty good trade. Let's throw an alert on here. And the alert basically is just to let me know that I have this trade that I want to do. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, all right, Amazon, we're in. Baidu, we're in. CF, CMG, CRM. Google, we are not in. Let's take a look. Take a little peek at Google. Uh, no entry. We could have held on to this for max profit. That would have been a no-brainer. That would have been pretty easy, but I got out uh, with a decent profit, 80%. So I was happy with that. Now we're looking for another entry or or let's take a look at an April expiration and see where we have some decent deltas. Uh, let's get these off of here. Decent delta, here's one at 20 which is uh, 840 level. That's a dollar, and that's above the previous high. Um, this is against my rules. I mean, there is no entry on this, per se, not on any chart, except possibly here on the MACD with it rolling over. Uh, it's against my rules. But this is so tempting. I'm going to put an alert on here and I'll take a look at it. When 
when and if the alert goes off. Against my rules, but that looks pretty good. That is, uh, yeah, I really kind of like that. I don't know why it's giving so much premium. Well, probably because it's an $800 stock, that's why. Or it was an $800 stock. That's why that one's doing that. Okay. And um, MasterCard, Netflix, and the two Ps. Okay, we're in all those. And then I wanted to mention, lastly, that I'm considering the unbalanced iron condor or the condorized credit spread, as I'm uh, starting to call them, on NDX and SPX. I was looking over the weekend at uh, at the cash indexes, and those two look to be the most attractive for the um, 10%, 5% condorized credit spreads. Uh, so I think pretty much that's it for today. I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a great day. Um, happy April Fools and happy trading.